this is hydrogen tap just in case uh, you might have thought I'm goofing off on the job I'm putting together the focus Q testing system and doing some final checkouts uh, tomorrow I'll be able to run some tests for the output I'm going to turn it on here for you The focus queue now is up on my site, hydrogentap.com. And uh, for anyone who wants to have some really good shots of the focus queue, they'll be up there. I also had some email from people who wanted to, to upgrade from the old Aaron cell to the new one. Uh, I have provisions for that there if you want to check it out. Go to hydrogentap.com or email me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. You can see the cell's working really well. And uh, there's a lot of pluses to this cell. So hopefully tomorrow. You can see the uh, the test rig I'm setting up here to measure the output. Hopefully tomorrow I have something so we can check the output of it. The uh, Focus Q is selling really low price. Uh, since I made this system in a modular form, I can make it much easier, put it together easier. And I think once you check that out at hydrogentap.com, you're going to see it's a lot easier just to go up there and, and buy the cell rather than put it together. One of the uh, neat things about this cell is that the way the system is, it's a twin plate system. What I'm doing is sharing the plates. There are nine stainless steel plates there, but they're being shared by both cells. These just clip on. So you can clip on any one of these plates. So you can make your plates in any design you want. You can make it positive, negative, positive, negative, or you can clip them on in any, any system you want. Somebody mentioned putting the positive on the left and, and uh, minus totally on the right. Well, you can just pull these off, plop them back on in any combination you want. Right now, I've got it. So these fittings go right on the, the bottom and they go on the top as well. So here's a look at the top. There's a place here for a cork and the way it works is this. The cork goes in the top. First I fill this tank with water so the water goes up as high as I want. I put the cork in it and then we pump the hydrogen through on the bottom. The hydrogen displaces the the water in the system and from that we can see how much by the displacement how much hydrogen is going in there. Again it's hydrogen and oxygen so uh, but that is the standard that's the way everyone's doing it. This is called a hydrogen collector, which is really interesting. Uh, I've had a number of people asking me how can you separate hydrogen, the hydrogen and oxygen together. Uh, one way is this way. If you look very closely, you'll see there's a screen in there that's joined by two tubes. Using the focus Q, the hydrogen and the oxygen come in in the form of water here. This is filled up to water to this point, higher, I should say, higher than the tube. So what happens, the hydrogen goes through this screen. You can see it's a fine screen. The oxygen bigger bubbles 
take the trail up here. It can't go through the screen and go out. Works really nice.